rely on the loyalty of Donna to inform me that my wife has run off, track you down at the airport. Where were you going? What kind of way is this to deal with a problem in a marriage? Good question. You oh. out. I'm dealing with my wife now. It's but between us. Out. Right. You can't just run out on me. I won't let you. Not when you are going to have a child. Our baby, honey. chilly out there, even with the heater at full blast, but uh, you're the one who wanted the top down. It was just so I could sing at the top of my lungs as the world went by. <laughs> you broke a few laws getting here. I didn't want to waste any more time. I have goosebumps. Really? You want to feel? <laughs> Give me your hand. You. Mm. I know. It's making me absolutely crazy. Mm. Mm. I know. I can go. Mm. 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 Can't you? No, can't, no. Oh, sorry. Can't you do it? Sucks. Zipper's just a little stuck. It's been a while since I... No, that's okay. Hey, wait, look. I got look. It. I got wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Okay. I can do it. All right. I'm relaxed. I can do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here. Hold this one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Here, let me, uh, let me help you out with that, okay? Um, I think it's a, a no, 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 fabric or... It's all right. It's just a little... Something is... It's just a little... You know, I think this zipper has seen better days. It's... Oh, well, don't no, I'm sorry. It. I'm... <laughs> oh, look, look, I, I don't want to ruin the night, but I don't want to sacrifice anything either. Okay. Okay. All right. I just think it's not really working with the, with the track, you know? It's like, um... Maybe you should try to pull it over the top of you. Just kind of shimmy out of it a little bit. How's that sound? Well, uh, no, I, I think I might tear it if I do that. Well, that's that. all right. We'll, we'll, we'll get you another dress. Here, let's... No, no, no. I don't want another no, dress. No, we'll build you another dress. I mean, my niece is a, is a designer, and she can make you exactly the same dress right down to the last shiny 
thing. There are sentimental reasons, Josh. Oh. That's right, this is your occasion dress. I forgot. Look, maybe butter would work. I, I saw some in there. Okay. Okay. I'll build a fire. Maybe warm it up in here a little bit. I'm sorry. I mean, this is not how I imagined our, our occasion. <laughs> Neither. Ah, get your hands off of me! What are you doing here? Please help me! Lucy? Look, if you just quit manhandling me, I'll tell you what I'm doing here, and, and maybe we can work something out. Sit down. I don't think so. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to stick your nose in where it doesn't belong? Look, I, I know we're best lovers. Stop feeling stupid. No, really, I do. I swear. You see, my sister-in-law... She's like, I was the only person that she trusts. You are giving me a headache. And that paper that everybody's after, I know where that is, too. Lucy, I hope you know what the hell you're doing. You've had it a lot, and you just didn't even know it. Nice try. The lamb. It's in the baby's lamb. I swear, if you don't believe me, go ahead. Check it out for yourself. Well, that's where Bess dashed up keeper. My father and my brother, they forced it out of her because they figured that that was the only way that they could get Elaine back. Look, I don't know what your boss is paying you, but I've got to believe that you could make up better if you had that paper yourself. And we were ready to give it up. We need my family. There's nothing in it for us. like the only way in. you. I love you, honey, and I believe you love me. I want to love you. I really do, but I don't know how anymore. I just don't know who you are now. Just like that, just because the Spaldings are spewing a lot of lies about It's not them. just like that, and you know it's not. And it's not just the Spaldings. Buzz Cooper? I mean, I think we can guess what he hopes to gain by turning you against His me. His daughter-in-law has been kidnapped, Roger. What do you expect him to feel? And I told you I had nothing to do with it. You have told me so much. Everybody's making up lies about poor, misunderstood Roger. All your so-called enemies are just making up lies about you. Yes, 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 they are. And don't you know why? They want to turn you against me. They want to divide us. And why? Because they want it all back. Everything. Everything that is rightfully yours. And they will be happy to destroy us to get it. We are not talking about the company right now. Or money. Or anything in this house. We are talking about a person. Eleni. 
who is probably one of the most selfless people I think I've ever met. I don't know about you. And the only thing she cared about during all of this was looking after that old woman. I don't know what has happened to make you believe me capable of kidnapping. When did I turn into this cold-hearted abuser of innocent women, young and old? I mean, I know that's what they want you to believe. It's perfect. I'd hate me, too. Only it's not who I am. And I think that the woman with whom I share every part of my life, the woman who is now carrying my child, knows that. I don't know. I don't know anymore. George, that woman you hired was here, right here in this room. I saw her, I spoke to her, she admitted that she's the one keeping Eleni. And when I insisted that she bring her here, that's when she got nervous. I swear, by everything I hold dear, I swear on our baby's life, I didn't know. Well, she told me to take it up with you. Well, George may be just a little bit scared right now, don't you think? I would imagine she's just a little desperate after this lunatic thing that she has done and is hoping like hell that I will bail her out. Think for a minute. Look, if I were involved, am I stupid enough to risk her coming here and meeting with you? Am I that stupid? Will you at least give me a chance to tell you my side of what happened? It's true. I hired George to find Bess Lowell, but only after Alexandra started accusing me to everybody who would listen, accusing me of kidnapping the old woman. Who, if you remember, what, when I finally laid eyes on her at that Willow's cottage, I wasn't even sure it was Bess Lowell. Okay, now it appears that it was Bess Lowell. But I was only trying to find her. You know, there's a spider. Very industrial little fellow. He's constantly spinning new webs out by the gazebo at night. When I go out there in the mornings, you would never know that he existed. Go back at night, and there he is, busily spinning away, only this time there are a few innocent bugs caught in his web, struggling desperately to get free, but on he goes. And I watch him. And I watch him. And then I wonder, what does he do all day long when he's not busy spinning? And then I realize, he must be spinning tales to his wife. Jenna, don't buy into this. I beg you, there's too much at stake. You're right. Us. I'm talking about a marriage here. Oh. <laughs> Listen. Alexandra lured you into that cottage to a face-to-face -face meeting with Bess Lowell. I mean, it was so I dramatic. I saw your face that night. I will never forget it. You were terrified, Roger. You were shaking in your boots. You were scared. Yes, because I saw the look in Alexandra's eyes. I knew what she was after, and when I saw your eyes, I knew she was succeeding in planting a seed of doubt in your mind. I mean, what could I do? I mean, I had to find some way to prove that what she was saying wasn't true. <laughs> so you, uh, you hired this George girl. I couldn't just n do nothing. Look, it killed me to have to prove myself to you. Jenna, Jenna, it was never about the money. But I'll tell you something. I don't know what George is agenda is right now, but I can guess that she's figured out that whatever Bess Lowell has is valuable, and I'm sure that's why she kidnapped Delaney to get to Bess Lowell through her, and for all I know, she is probably contacting the Spaldings, hoping to turn this information over to the highest bidder. Eleni has a little baby who needs her desperately. Listen, listen, listen. I would never do anything to jeopardize either one of them. But you know what? The only thing I can think of right now is that little baby that you're carrying inside. I love you so much. So help me God, I do. And all I want in this world is a chance to prove it to you. Oh. 
All right, Ben. You want me to have trust in you again? Okay, there's my... Right. Just tell me what it'll take. Oh, oh my God, I hope that George woman does not get Lucy. She is evil. She has an evil side I have never seen in anyone. Yeah, well, how's the job? To scare you? Yeah, and then when there was nothing I could give her, then what was she going to do with me, huh? Oh, my God. She... She's terrible. She would look at me, and her eyes would go blank. And the person behind them was just gone. I was just something that she needed to get rid of. A problem. Oh, what if she does something to Lucy? No, there's nothing's gonna happen to Lucy, okay? She could, she could take care of herself. Bought it, buzz taught her that much. She's a, she's a tough little fighter. Don't worry. Come on. It's gotta be something. She's gotta find an opening, something, you know? A crowbar would be really nice about now. Oh. Uh. Elaine. Oh, it's so hot. I gotta get you out of here. Go down the steps. What are you doing? Oh, Build this place like a damn fortress. No, no, stay, stay, stay right here on the floor. Crack the air's not sit down here. It's hot. I'm like, I just want something to drink. I know. I'm thirsty. When was the last time you had anything to eat or drink? I don't remember. I'm just tired. I want to rest. Check up there. You check, check down there, right? Okay, see you in a few minutes. Sir. I heard that. I might be hallucinating, but I, I thought I heard. What? What? What did you, what did you do? I thought I heard Frank. Frankie? Guiding light in a moment. Oh, Joyce. Uh, yeah, I, I brought some dessert by Tangie. Uh, where is she? She's in the kitchen. Oh, that's a good sign. Checking out all the important stuff, huh? <laughs> all the important stuff. You don't want a wife that can't cook. Oh, uh, well, uh, she's, she's not really like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, what? Well, she's just not like that. Why, what? <sighs> she's not wife material. You know, I mean, she's great, but she's... Well, she's a sweeter girl I never met. Yeah, I agree, but, you know, sitting around by the Yule log and, and uh, roasting chestnuts is not exactly her idea of a good time. A good time? A good time. Just tell Tangy I said, hey. Otis. Who was that? That was your fiance, Otis. Oh. <laughs> well, do you want the good news or the bad news? Why don't you give me the good news first? Well, the good news is somebody knows how to pick out a bottle of red wine. And the bad news is if you want to get me out of this dress, you're going to have to come up with something real good. All right, if you call off your she-devil and make certain that nothing happens to Eleni, then maybe we have something to talk about. Okay, now, George is not crazy enough to hurt Eleni. Obviously, you didn't see what happened to Lucy Cooper when George got her hands on her. 
Yeah, I'm sure it was a very distressing, terrifying Roger, she experience. was cut, she was bruised, and she was bleeding. Apparently, that woman was trying to steal Eleni's baby. What on earth was she going to do with the baby? I hate to even think. What will she do? What will she go to to make Eleni talk? I don't know. I think you do. And you are the master of this animal, so call her off. That was her on the phone before. I came to talk to you about it, and you'd run off to the airport. I told her at that point that if she hurt Eleni, I would hunt her down. Good. Now call the police. And no, 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 no. I cannot bring Why the police. Why not? If because you're innocent... who knows what George is going to say when her back is to the wall? Who cares what she's going to say? Oh, right. Oh, great. Yes, it won't look good for you if she breathes your name, especially if Eleni is dead. That's not going to happen. And how the hell do you know it isn't going to happen? Because I'm not going to let it. What are you going to do? I'm going to put a stop to this. But I want a promise from you. What? I want a promise from you. That you'll be here when I get back. come up with something really good to get you out of that dress, right? Yeah, something really good. Okay, let's see. How about a uh, little diamond bracelet? How's that sound? What? Or uh, did you have in, in mind something more along the lines of a trip? Actually, I didn't think along the lines of a pale. Forget it. No, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. But I didn't think this was some sort of business deal. You said I was going to have to come up with something real good to get you out of that dress, Yeah, right? something real good. Like I'm stuck in the dress, like I'm stuck. <laughs> oh. oh. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought that you were... You were... <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Look, I... I know what you thought. No, I thought that you were just playing around, you know, the old servant volley. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty hard to keep up with you sometimes. It, look, uh, a girl who cheats at bingo, even if it's to help somebody else out, you, a guy's got to stay on his Oh, and, and you thought that if you showered me with gifts, I mean... I thought that if you wanted me to shower you with gifts, that would be okay with me. I mean, the, the way you look in that dress right now, and... And the way that you kissed me before, and the fact that you're stuck in the dress, all powers of rational thought just flew out the window. Temporary insanity. Hey, the average man would have been reduced to a mindless puddle. Oh, but not you, no. No. I'm an Oklahoma boy. From where I come from, we have a real can-do kind of attitude. <laughs> Well, that counts for something, doesn't it? George is not coming back. That's a good sign. Maybe that means that Lucy got away. She's gonna... She'll bring somebody to help us. The police. So maybe, maybe Frank. Well, lady, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got you into this. I should have never... should have never come to your house that night. I should have never come to your house that night to talk to you about best. 
I should have known how desperate Roger was. But I just wasn't thinking. I just wasn't thinking. It's not your fault, though, man. No, it's, it's more my fault than I can. I've been selfish about you since day one. I, I lied to you to marry you. I lied to you to hold on to you. It was a long time ago. No, sometimes it doesn't feel that way. You know? But when I came to you, I kept, I kept trying to convince myself. Convince myself that... I was just making excuses. I was making excuses just like I, I make excuses to come to this diner to see you. <coughs> Elaine, I'm not going to do that. I just wind up hurting you all over it. I see what you have now. And I know it doesn't seem like it, but I, I want you to know. I respect you. I know, I know. Down. Lucy's been a real pain, but she's been a wealth of information. So she's coming with me as an insurance policy. She'll, she'll just slow you down. Yeah, well, don't worry about it, Daddy. <laughs> Wait! This is no negotiation. You don't have anything I want, so get out of my way! Yeah, you do. You have my wife. Where is my wife? Melanie Cooper. Lady, where is my wife? Please. Where are you going? Where is she okay? Where is my wife? Get down. Get down. You better hope your daddy doesn't mess with me. until you get back. But I'm going to my room now. Jenna, Jenna. I love you. And I'm not going to lose you to the lies of a bunch of greedy people. There's a little thing to life that you seem to be forgetting, and that is when you got something, a whole lot of something, everybody wants a piece of the pie. That's because they can get as fast as they can shovel it into their greedy little mouths. And I'm not just talking about cons and hustlers. 
You find the people that you thought you could trust with your life are ready to slit your throat just to get a better angle on your wallet. So you did all this to protect me? You bet. To protect you and our future, a future which now happens to include a baby. And I'm telling you, I'm going to fight like hell. I am going to lay down my life, if necessary, to keep you safe, both of you. Because I happen to need you. Because this little baby is a blessing. It is a miracle. Sweetie. This should be the happiest moment of our lives. Please, please don't let them take that away from us. You know, I don't read minds. You choose as carefully as you can, who you're going to confide in, who you're going to trust. I hired George because she was someone I once worked with, someone who once saved my life. I thought, this is the perfect person to find Bess Lowe. Well, I was wrong. I was trying to be careful. Maybe I was too careful, but, you know, everybody was trying to find Bess Lowe. Everybody. I swear. I swear to you, I'm going to make this up to you. I'll be here when you get back. You have my word. All right, I'm going to go out and see if I can put an end to this once and for all. Ronnie to bring the car around. But I thought you just told it me... It doesn't really matter what I told Mr. Thorpe, does it? No. My word's about as good as his. Just go easy. I'm not sure how to go about this at all. Well, if you just, you just take the scissors and cut along the seam there, maybe we can preserve this. Why do I suddenly feel like I have <laughs> ten thumbs? <laughs> just take your time. It's easy for you to say. Well, we've waited this long. No, I didn't mean that like as a complaint. I just, you know, there's tougher things in my life that I've had to face. I don't know why it seems that you've done this before. I've cleaned a lot of trout in my day. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> but this is my first mermaid. Mm. So this dress has a lot of history, huh? Yeah, a lot of history. It's a good story? Well, it depends on who you ask. They asked all the boys at the base in Corpus Christi in 1961. I don't think they'd even remember. See, there was this girl, a little nurse, fresh out of nursing school, ready to serve God and her country and get herself a husband in the meantime. She was stationed at this base at the hospital. Wasn't a very good looking girl. Known in the vernacular as a dog. Good figure, but not much to look at. But you know, cheerful and a, a good disposition. Anyway, that group of good old boys invited her to the first party at the base and she said yes and she was so excited and cut pictures out of magazines, you know, hairstyles, and took every penny out of her savings account to buy a dress that looked just like one she'd seen in a movie. Beautiful dress. This dress. She never thought she looked prettier. Even though she knew that the dress didn't really make her look beautiful. Anyway, she went to the canteen, and she realized she was set up. The boys were all snickering at her, throwing out jokes that they didn't think girls could get or didn't even care if they got. I and mean, it was a pig party. They didn't even notice the dress. 
I think her exit was accompanied by barnyard noises and grunts. And she ran to the barracks, even though the skirt was a little too tight. And even though she was crying so hard, she couldn't see where she was going. Anyway, she almost threw the dress away, but she decided not to because she wanted to keep it to always remember how cruel men could be. And she gave it to me. So no daughter of hers would forget it either. But you see, I don't think that's the whole truth. I mean, I saved this dress. You know, for a special occasion. Just to throw a finger at all those guys who laughed at my mother and let them know that there were men that were better than they were. And look. It's true. I got one right here. Wild horses couldn't budge me. Hello. Yeah, yeah, Billy, what's what's up? Just uh, slow down, slow down, all right? What did the lawyer say? Okay, all right. Just take it easy, take it easy. I'll I'll come home tonight. Family emergency. I'm sorry. I heard. No, I'm, I'm serious. If it wasn't an emergency. No, I understand. And everything happens for a reason. I've always hated that saying. It makes me feel like something. something great that was about to happen in my life has just passed me by. Thank you for being careful with my dress. So, rain check? <laughs> Listen to me. I'll count to three. 
You got one way out of here, and it's through this gate. Shoot her, and I'm gone with the keys. You shoot me, you're still stuck in there until the cops arrive, which shouldn't be too long. So you think fast and hard about exactly what you want to leave here with. You're bluffing. It comes down to this, lady. You and me, we make a deal. Because you don't have any choice. Don't blink, Lauren. I'll stay with you forever if that's what it takes. And don't look away. He's my husband. Don't make him laugh. It's a time of crisis. Who's making all the decisions here? And there's only one person you can turn to. I know when someone's dying. But do you dare trust her? The bold and the beautiful. This has been Guiding Light. Fashion jewelry provided by Lee Wolf.